All right, welcome back everybody to another retro video game pickup video. I have a bunch of stuff that I got from uh, Mr. Deals in Albany, New York, Central Ave and Colony there. Uh, I got some Genesis games, I got some PS2 games, a lot of them, and I got some PSP games, a Saturn game, and a Game Boy Advance game, plus a loose N64 game. I'll get to that immediately first. Uh, so the N64 game, I have Cruising USA, I have the box, I have the instructions, I thought I had the game inside, but when I went to check, sure enough, there was no game inside, and I'd gotten that probably two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, so I got fucked, so for $6.99 I picked up Cruising USA for the N64 to make my game complete now, there you go, Cruising USA, pretty simple shit, nothing too fancy there. The game I got for Game Boy Advance is Namco Museum. Okay, complete in box. Uh, you have Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, and Pole Position. So let's look at the back. You don't have to be an Iron Man to carry around the greatest arcade games of all time. Keep your quarters in your pants and your favorite arcade games too. Namco Museum for the Game Boy Advance puts some of the greatest coin-op classics such as Miss Pac-Man, Galaxian, Pole Position, Galaga, and Dig Dug into the palm of your hand. Now history repeats itself. Just like the original arcade uprights, Namco Museum features genuine graphics, sound effects, and gameplay. But now you can change settings to control the number of lives, difficulty level, and goals for advancing. It's a blast from the past. Retro gaming is back, and it's bigger. Uh, smaller than ever. Just like an arcade, but without chewing gum stuck to the machine. And it says gameplay on the Game Boy Advance video game system. Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, Pole Position, Galaxians up top. Okay. Uh... And was Galaxian up top here? No. Just shows four of them, which is funny. So anyway, complete in box, Namco Museum. Let's go to the PSP games, okay? I'm going to do this in a weird order. I'm going to finish with Genesis last. But I got 2K Sports The Bigs 2 for $4.99. By the way, this was $9.99, complete. Uh, the Bigs 2. The Big Leagues just got bigger. Epic arcade baseball action. Larger-than-life gameplay, stadiums, and player models provide a truly heroic baseball experience. Batter's wheelhouse. Pitchers thrown into the batter's wheelhouse are more likely to be launched into the next time zone, but sneaking a pitch past the hitter will shrink his wheelhouse for the rest of the game. Do you have the guts to pitch into the batter's wheelhouse? Legends Challenge. Unique story mode allows users to pit their created player against MLB Legends past and present as they strive for a World Series championship and MVP uh, trophy. So the bigs, two. Presented from 2K Sports, $4.99. Next up, I got MLB for $2.99. Uh, I believe this is one of the first PSP baseball games there was with Guerrero on the cover. Welcome to the show. Playmaker fielding uh, binds your fielding skill with player attributes for challenging defensive interaction. Release point pitching and the confidence meter challenge your ability to hit your spots and paint the corners. Branch point technology provides seamless fielding transitions with preloaded throwing. On a homestand or road trip, dig in and swing for the fences with Wi-Fi connectivity. So pretty easy stuff, MLB. Doesn't even say the show, it's just that's what it is, MLB. All right, next up we have World Championship Poker 2 featuring Howard Letterer for $3.99. World Championship Poker 2, go all in against the best in the game. Bring your best poker face and nerves of steel to the high stakes table as you bluff and try to steal the pot from the legends of the game. Howard Letterer, Annie Duke, and more will push your skills to the limit to see if you have what it takes to become the next poker phenom. 14 different varieties of poker from Texas Hold'em and 5 Card Stud to Deuce to 7, Triple Draw, and Raz and 6 exclusive multiplayer games. In game character likenesses, play styles, and iconic signature personality traits of 7 of the best professional poker players. Commentary by Matt Savage and AI opponents with dynamic personalities, player controllable bluffs and tells. Enhanced look and feel with more realistic characters and advanced animations with something happening all the time. Experienced poker players as well as casual gamers will enjoy hours of poker excitement. Compatible for online play with World Championship Poker 2, PlayStation 2, Computer Entertainment System users. And the professional players shown from left to right, you got Howard Lederer right here, Annie Duke, Greg Raymer, Amir Vahadi, Paul Darden, Cloney Gowen and Robert Williamson III. So, World Championship Poker 2 featuring Howard Lutterer. Next up, we have the official game played by the pros. Uh, the official game played by the pros. World Series of Poker. This is $1.99. Okay, for the PSP. Take a seat at the greatest tournament in the world and play the best of the best. Test your skills against World Series of Poker Hot Shots. Chris Ferguson, Scotty Wen, John Fan, Scott Fishman, Men the Master, and more. 26 official World Series of Poker tournament events. And you can see Scotty Wen, John Fan, Scott Fishman, and Men the Master. So, 
Pretty easy stuff. Official game, uh, play the pros, World Ser Series of Poker. So those were the PSP games I grabbed. The only Saturn game I grabbed was Tetris Plus for $14.99. Tetris Plus, four exciting modes of play. You got classic head-to-head -head puzzle and edit and never-ending challenges. Master 80 mind-blowing puzzles. Discover 20 bonus stages. Design your own puzzle and edit mode. So, Tetris Plus for the Saturn. Now let's go to the PS2. I got a bunch of these. For $7.99, I got the Simpsons game from EA. Save the Simpsons from Video Game Purgatory. Uh, the Simpsons punch, nag, mediate, and eat their way through the video game industry. A hilarious plot written by the Simpsons writers, spoken by your Springfield favorites. Over 40 minutes of brand new Simpsons animation you won't see anywhere else. Have a friend drop in and out of your game at any time in co-op mode. Okay, so this is Simpsons game. Next up for $17.99, I picked up the Simpsons Hit and Run. Save Springfield by car, by foot, by the seat of your pants. Springfield's biggest driving hazards are let loose. Drive yourself crazy in lawless fender benders and chaotic head-on collisions as your favorite Simpsons character. Unbuckle your seatbelt and set out on foot to investigate creepy crop circles and a diabolical conspiracy threatening to obliterate Springfield. Drop that donut and grab the wheel. You have over 50 mayhem-filled missions, actual voiceovers by the Simpsons cast, bonus unlockables and multiplayer action, and authentic story by the Simpsons writers. So the Simpsons hit and run. Then I have Constantine. Picked this up for $5.99. Okay. Hell wants him, heaven won't take him, earth needs him, you control him. To protect the world, John Constantine will have to walk the line between demons and angels. He investigates a dark world that exists just beneath the landscape of contemporary Los Angeles and attempts to seek out and destroy pure evil before peace on earth is destroyed forever. So here, vanquish demons with an array of powerful weapons, including the Holy Shotgun and Dragon's Breath Flamethrower. Confront terrifying enemies throughout hell and earth. Hunt down deadly half-breed demons using the True Sight ability. So, Constantine. Next up, I got Rocky for $7.99. Absolutely stellar, says IGN.com. Under the hard knocks training of Mickey, take your shot against gritty Philly brawlers and big-time bruisers like Clubber Lang. With crushing signature moves, real-time damage, and cinematic style, the prediction for this bout is pain. So the saga continues. We live the Rocky saga in movie mode and take on every opponent as Rocky took him from Rocky to Rocky V. Cut me, Mick. Brutal real-time damage delivers all the bruises, blood, swelling, and sweat you can dish out and receive. It'll knock you into tomorrow, Rock. I must break you. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with 20 hammer-fisted fighters straight from the Rocky movies like Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang, and Ivan Drago in your bid for the title. Eye of the Tiger. Train your guts out in nerve-busting training sessions to increase your skill and stamina. So this is Rocky. Next up, we have The Mummy Returns for $7.99. Good or evil, the choice is yours. Experience the ultimate evil or heroism at its best on The Mummy Returns. Give in to all that evil will grant you on your quest to rule the world as Amotep. Or fight as Rick to save your son Alex and thwart the mummy's plans to rule the world. The Scorpion King awaits you in the game that delivers two adventures in one. So you can be good... As Rick O'Connell battle evil with amazing handheld and projectile weaponry, and you can be evil. As Emotep, use brute force and a powerful spellcasting system. Face off with the ultimate evil, the powerful Scorpion King. So there you go, the mummy returns. Okay. Next up, we have NHL 2K10 for $9.99. 1999 to 2009, 10th anniversary with Alex Ovechkin on the cover. He is party now. And they have that in Russian. Aerial camera. Take in all the action from a new perspective. Use it to evaluate your positioning and playmaking. Realistic player behavior. New player attribute system means players and teams perform the way you expect them to perform on the ice. Smarter hockey. Improved AI makes gameplay more authentic in the offensive and defensive zones. More accurate positioning. Better puck movement. NHL caliber playmaking. And you can face off online. Go head-to-head -head against the best players out there in single games or playing leagues and dominate tournaments. So here you go. You got... NHL 2K10. Next up for $7.99, we got Intellivision Lives. Okay. Intellivision Lives. Relive the 80s with Intellivision Lives. Over 60 classic Intellivision games are available all in one package. Your all-time favorite games like Baseball, Astro Smash, Space Battle, and more. There's over 60 games. Library of over 60 classic Intellivision games. Historical information and fun facts about the games, including interviews with the original Intellivision developers. View classic Intellivision commercials and archival footage. 
All games optimized for the DualShock 2 analog controller for PlayStation 2. Exclusive unreleased games, Hard Hat, Brickout, and Deep Pockets. And here they show you Astro Smash, Baseball, Boxing. Certain single-player games require that you have two DualShock 2 analog controllers connected to your PlayStation 2 system. So the games uh, so far that they show you here, you got Armor Battle, Astro Smash, B-17 Bomber, Backgammon, Baseball, Body Slam, Super Pro Wrestling, Bomb Squad, Bowling, Boxing, Buzz Bombers, Checkers, Football, Frog Bog, Golf, Hockey, Horse Racing, Hover Force, Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack, Las Vegas Roulette, Motocross, Night Stalker, Pinball, Reversi, which is another name for Othello, Sea Battle, Shark, Shark, Skiing, Snafu, Soccer, Space Armada, Space Battle, Space Hawk, Space Spartans, Spiker, Super Pro Volleyball, Stadium Mud Buggies, Star Strike, Sub Hunt, Tennis, Thin Ice, Utopia, Vectron, and more. So you got Intellivision Libs. Next up, Pac-Man World. I'm going to go in order here. Pac-Man World 2, pick this up for $7.99. The Ghost Gang strikes again. Pac-Man faces the most wicked foe ever, unleashed from, ancient, from an ancient tree. Pac-Man takes control with new skills, any enemies, and friends in vast worlds to explore. So Pac-Man 2, the rest is in French, I think, from Bandai Namco Games. Pac-Man World 2, and for $9.99, Pac-Man World 3. It's your world, eat it. In a mad pursuit of pack world domination, evil genius Irwin creates a machine that can penetrate the spectral realm. Now the spectral realm is collapsing into the real world, causing a massive upheaval as Irwin unleashes hordes of baddies into the once peaceful pack land. On the eve of his 25th birthday party, Pac-Man is mysteriously teleported out of Pac Village and into a dark, unstable world. Now it's up to Pac-Man and his old nemesis turned ally Orson to put a stop to Irwin's plot. Along the way, encounter a host of ghastly ghosts, monsters, and robots, plus some unexpected friends. Together with the unlikely alliance with ghosts Pinky and Clyde, Pac-Man must save Pac-Land from ruin. Control the ghost. For the first time, control Pinky and Clyde to solve puzzles and access spectral areas. Command an arsenal of new pack power-ups. Ribbon loop, electro shock, super stomp, and more. Teleport into classic Pac-Man mazes to complete for bonus to compete for bonuses. New pack moves. Climb fences, jump up walls, swing around poles, and punch enemies. Bonus features include bonus interview with the creator of Pac-Man, includes a sneak peek at Pac-Man World Rally. And that's Pac-Man's 25th anniversary, 1988 to 2005. Or 19, hold on now. 1980 to 2005. So, Pac-Man World 3. Next up, this was expensive. Um, it's very rare for the PS2. It's Predator Concrete Jungle. It was $24.99. Uh, not, I'm not saying it's rare because of the price, I'm saying it's rare because of the price. Because if you look online, it pretty much goes for this. The city is your hunting ground. Banished to a remote planet for a hundred years, the Predator returns to Earth in 2030, seeking to redeem itself for a century old transgression. When the code of honor protecting the secrecy of an alien race was abandoned, strange and powerful technology fell into the hands of evil men. The Predator must now restore that honor through the complete destruction of those who violated it. So, advanced vision and cloaking modes change the rules of the hunt. Use a full arsenal of superior Predator weaponry to annihilate your enemies. Roam city environments in search of your next prey. Predator Concrete Jungle for the PS2. Next up, uh, 2K Sports Major League Baseball 2K9 with Tim Linscom on the cover for $5.99. Play ball. New broadcast team. Gary Thorne provides a play-by-play -play calls alongside color analyst Steve Phillips, giving more depth and realism for a true-to-life conversational broadcast. GM career mode. Control up to four different franchises simultaneously. Achieve goals set by franchise owners, simulate seasons, and attempt to bring home a World Series championship. Updated rosters. Capitalize on the past winter's biggest moves with up-to-date rosters and updated inside edge data. 2K Sports Online Play. Go head-to-head -head against the best players on the planet. New 2K Beats featuring Judas Priest, Cheap Trick, Coheed in Cambria, SR-71, The Romantics, Boys Like Girls, and Europe. 2K China, 2K Sports. So 2K Sports, Major League Baseball, 2K9. Next up, I found the other Indiana Jones game. It's Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb for $7.99. A breathless, world-tripping adventure, says Electronic Gaming Monthly. As Indiana Jones, you'll travel to 1935 China to prevent a powerful artifact from falling into evil hands. This globe-spanning adventure pits you against evil Nazis in the Asian underworld. It'll take more than just a trusty whip and pistol to avoid the perils of the Emperor's Tomb. 
So here, explore levels across the globe from Saleon and Istanbul to Hong Kong and beyond. Shotguns, submachine guns, and improvised weapons, and of course, Indy's trusty whip and pistol. Fierce fighting action and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Original storyline with new villains, wicked enemies, and an alluring partner. Leap, swim, climb, and punch your way through exotic locales. You can go www.emperorstomb.com or www.indianajones.com. But this is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Okay. Here you got Jumper, based on the movie. It's called Griffin's Story. I forget how much this was, but I think it was $4.99. Anywhere is possible. Jump through time and space and live without boundaries. You are Griffin, a teenager who can teleport and is hell-bent on avenging the death of his parents. Hunt down and slay the relentless paladins and find your vengeance. So there you go, Jumper Griffin's Story from Brash Entertainment. Next up, we have The Scorpion King, The Rise of the Akkadian for $4.99. Experience the adventure that started it all. In an original story inspired by the blockbuster film, The Scorpion King, the Akkadians were a tribe of warriors unparalleled in the deadly art of assassination. Their skill is put to the ultimate test when a dark lord named Magus is determined to harness the powers of the underworld. Play as a Scorpion King using all of your wits, training, and weapons to defeat Magus before he unleashes an army of bloodthirsty creatures on mankind. So here, smash your way through fantastic environments, nonstop action with fierce hand-to-hand -hand and weapon-based combo attacks, Battle the Underworld's Toughest Supernatural Creatures. www.universalinteractive.com The Scorpion King Rise of the Akkadian. And the last PS2 game, again based on the movie, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines for the PlayStation 2, $4.99. You are the ultimate weapon. Initiate mission parameters for CRS Model T850, the Terminator. Objectives. Advance to CRS time. Displacement chamber. Return to 2003. Critical priority. Protect John Connor. Resistance, Mechanical, CRS Army, Human 2023, TechCon Army, Human 2003, Los Angeles Police Department, Advanced Recon, TX Activated, Technolog Technologically Advanced, No Known Weaknesses, Stop at All Costs. So the features, Fight, for the first time ever, is Arnold Schwarzenegger, Survive within an additional T3 storyline, Access Unique Terminator Abilities, Terminate with Explosive Weapons and Punishing Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat, Live the Complete Terminator Experience on Both Sides of the Conflict, Includes Over an Hour of CGI and film footage starring the motion picture cast. So, there you go. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. So those are the PS2 games. Now we're going to go right to the Genesis games here. Um, first up, we have Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego. The New American Desk Encyclopedia included. This is $9.99. Play in five different languages. Languages. Uh, huge fan of the TV show growing up, so this is pretty cool stuff. Solve the greatest crimes of all times. Carmen Sandiego, notorious ringleader of Villains International League of Evil, has confiscated the time machine and is swiping history's priceless treasures. It's up to you to catch her before she alters the course of time. You have seven challenging levels, hundreds of cases, accurate and detailed cultural background, features the Chrono Skimmer 325i, an advanced time travel machine that allows you to voyage into centuries past. You can play in five different languages, not that I would need to. Here, a thief has stolen the Kabuki from 1605 Japan. The Federal Time Travel Commission has granted you a few precious hours on your chromo skimmer, but isn't enough. Time travel to historically significant locations. Rendezvous with informants, interview witnesses, or scan the scene for clues. Pursue notorious villains through 1,500 years of civilization around the globe. But beware of the v Vile Henchman, or V-I-L-E Henchman. Here, release the capture robot and send him up river for good. Work through the ranks to super time sleuth. So there you go, one player, 16-bit cartridge, 8-meg cart from Broderbound, DSI, and Electronic Arts. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Next up, NBA All-Star Challenge. This was $7.99 from Flying Edge. NBA All-Star Challenge, jamming home with 27 of the hottest NBA All-Stars in the ultimate test of b-ball skill, one-on-one. -on -one. Downtown or in the paint, driving offense and intense D, take it to the hoop with the likes of Patrick Ewing, Clyde Drexler, Chris Mullen, Hakeem Olajuwon, Dominique Wilkins, and Carl Malone. Player stats, realistic courtside sound effects, and five blistering ways to play. You can do one-on-one, -on -one, free throw contest, three-point shootout, horse, and NBA All-Star tournament. Don't be denied, take the NBA All-Star Challenge. In-game graphics, score from downtown. Five backward shattering ways to play. Go for the steal. 27 NBA All-Stars featuring actual player stats. So there you go, NBA All-Star Challenge. With Chris Mullen. 
Next up, pro quarterback from Trade West Sports, 799. Pretty rare Genesis game, sports wise. Warning this game is too real. Break the huddle into a dramatic 3D perspective down the field. 26 professional teams. Stats track each player's performance. Six different field conditions and realistic sound for one or two players. You select the plays from either side of the ball using the playbook's long list of offensive or defensive plays. Team up with a friend, go head-to-head -head or play against the computer. It just doesn't get any more realistic. So this is pro quarterback. Pretty mint condition, too, from what I saw. Look at that. Instruction book and everything. Next up, uh, the Lion King. $14.99. Uh, still, these are still expensive. You think you want to be king? Get real. Your starting life is Simba the Cub. To survive and grow into a powerful adult lion, you must perfect your savage pounce, reckless roar, and master fighting with all four paws. If you survive the challenge, you'll grow into a strong, ferocious adult lion. So prepare to scrap with hyenas, blast through an elephant graveyard, battle an in-your-face stampede of trampling wild beasts, wildebeests. And you'd better quit hanging with slackers like Timon and Pumbaa unless you want to be scarfing bugs the rest of your life. Are you sure you want to be king? Then it's time to cut loose in the deadliest one-on-one -on -one brawl ever. Defeat your evil uncle Scar. Recapture the Pride Lands. And reclaim your rightful place in the circle of life. A radical variety of gameplay that follows the adventures of the hit movie The Lion King through ten levels of action, puzzles, and combat. Fast, super smooth, movie-like animation, hand-drawn by top Disney animators, and packed with the latest Digicel technology in a 24-meg cartridge. All nine music selections from the movie, including The Circle of Life, Just Can't Wait to Be King, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight, composed by Elton John and Tim Rice. Able to control four characters, Young Simba, Adult Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. I remember seeing this when it first came out. I mean, the music is incredible. The music was incredible in the movie, but even for the game, it's really cool. And to follow that up, you got Aladdin. This is 20 bucks, $19.99. Disney's Aladdin. Sega presents a Disney Virgin Games co-production of Disney's Aladdin. Hang on to your carpet for action and fun. Aladdin slashes his shining scimitar to fight through Agrabah, escape the Sultan's dungeon, survive the fiery cave of wonders, snatch the genie's lamp, and save Princess Jasmine from evil Jafar. All new technology creates animation so smooth it's like watching a real animated film. Aladdin battles thieves and desert warriors and barely dodges danger on his high-speed carpet. Survive Jafar's troops for a dash through special bonus rounds. Hilarious. Palace guards drop their drawers and camels spit dirt wads. Aladdin ping-pongs like a pinball inside the genie's lamp. Academy Award-winning music straight from the movie with favorites A Whole New World, Friend Like Me, and more. So you got Disney's Aladdin for the Genesis. Next up for $7.99, Bill Walsh College Football. College Football, Bill Walsh, it says, from the designers of Madden Football by Jim Simmons and High Score Productions. Uh, college football's hottest debate, who's number one? Now you decide, it says. No time left. Your wishbone quarterback dives in from the two, but you're still down by one. Gut check. Kick for the tie or go for two in the national title. 48 teams. You got the top 24 from 92 and the top 24 since 78. All new gameplay. Audible. Eyes from Coach Walsh's 68 classic college plays. You pick the teams, you play the games. No more talking, no more polls. New game design brings you closer to the field with big animated players. High step over defenders behind student body blocking. Quick one-step play calling. 68 classic college plays. Triple option student body wishbone and more. 16 team national championship playoff tournaments. 1992 and all-time teams. Four-way play. Two-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-one, or even four versus computer. Walsh report scouts each team, automatic or manual pass catch mode, play call bluff mode to disguise your play, set your own audibles anytime during the game, 48 team cards, 35 players rated per team, reverse angle replay, southern speed, midwestern power, west coast skill, east coast tradition, 1, 2, 3, or 4 players, cooperative or competitive play for use with EA Sports 4-way play, tournament series 4-way play. There you go, Bill Walsh College Football, and it does have, which I was pretty cool to see, all of the player cards. As you see here. Okay, which is pretty awesome. So, throw these up there. Okay, and we'll raid some Nebraska 83, ba Nebraska 92, Boston 92, Boston 84, Florida 92, Florida 84, Columbus, Ohio 92, Columbus, Ohio 79, Baton Rouge, Louisiana 87, Atlanta 90, Los Angeles 82, Stanford 92, you got Washington 92. And Washington 91, Tennessee 85, and Tennessee 92, South Carolina 79, South Carolina 92, Miami 91, Miami 92, Hawaii 92, and Ho Pullman, Washington 92. Not the same one, yeah. 
Georgia 80 and Georgia 92. State College, Pennsylvania 92. State College, Pennsylvania 86. Colorado 92. Colorado 90. Michigan 85. Michigan 92. And Alabama 92. And Alabama 78. So there you go. Let's put these back right in here. This is pretty cool. We got two games left. All right, let's put that back in here. All right, next up we have Sega Sports, 32 Collegiate National Powers. It's College Football's National Championship. It's a collegiate licensed product, officially licensed collegiate products uh, for $5.99. You determine college football's national champion on the field. 32 of the finest college football teams in one game. They're all here. Florida State, Washington, Penn State, USC, Arizona, Arkansas, Auburn, Boston College, BYU, Cal, Clemson, Florida, Georgia, Houston, Illinois, LSU, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Pitt, San Diego State, Stanford, Syracuse, Tennessee, Texas, and UCLA. Great collegiate football features. Exhibition, 11-game regular season, race for the number one ranking, national championship tournament, two-point conversions, wishbone option offenses, college playbooks, school fight songs, logos, and team colors. Multiplayer adapter, team player, one of four players. It's a 16 meg and battery backup. Uh, collegiate licensed product, officially licensed collegiate products, and Sega Arcade Pad recommended the six-button controller. There you go, Sega Sports College Football's national championship. And the last game... I'm an idiot. I bought two of the same stupid games. You idiot. Here's Bill Hall's cause football again. So I bought two of the same game. What a shame. Well, that's it. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Remember, Wednesday, fantasy football with McLovin, week number four. Thursday, the return and scratch ticket Thursday with Kenny. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.